the daughter of a baker in Athens, Cassandra worked hard in order to support her mother, who had fallen ill from anxiety. Three years had passed since her older sister, Sophitia, returned from her holy quest to destroy the cursed sword. But one day, with her wedding drawing near, Sophitia once again vanished, leaving only a note behind. Cassandra was content to look after her troubled mother, who was quite close with her errant oldest daughter, until she realized why Sophitia disappeared so suddenly. I hope Mom gets better soon. And I can't believe Dad. He should worry more about her. And the only thing on Lucius's mind is bread, bread, bread. Ugh. Hey, if it isn't Cassandra. Congratulations on Sophitia's upcoming wedding. When's she getting back? Good morning to you too, Xenon. I'm still not sure, but she'll likely be gone for a while this time, since she won't be able to wander off anymore once she's married. That's true, huh? It's just like her to get her head filled with stories of adventure and take off. I bet that fiancé of hers, Rothion, is worried sick. Not really, actually. The only ones who ever worry about her are me and Mom. And it's not like I could ever take her place. You think so? From my perspective, you both know how to get a job done. Anyway, keep up the good work. I will. Thanks. Seriously, why did she have to run off again? It's a headache trying to come up with excuses for why she's gone. Still. What do you mean there's still a cursed sword fragment near her heart? Why? How am I supposed to explain that? Sis? My chest. Sis? Are you okay? Uh, so many lives lost. So rich. It all has to be related. But who would even believe it? A god told her to go on a quest to destroy the cursed sword Soul Edge. Ha, huh, right. Still. If she left to destroy Soul Edge, I bet she needed a weapon. Which means... Half convinced her theory is correct, Cassandra sets off at a run. Her destination, the ancient ruins of the Shrine of Eurydice. It was there that Sophitia, after her battle with the Cursed Sword, had returned the Holy Sword and Shield entrusted to her by the gods. Definitely hers. Maybe they're fakes. Hmm, they don't feel like fakes. In the world is that? Where, where am I this time? A swordswoman? <sighs> what are you? You don't seem very friendly. Well. Save 
My sister! What are you mumbling? If you want to fight me, I'll take you. Come on! Need to move! Must kill enemy! Daughter of Akalos, Cassandra, can you hear me? What do you want? I'm kind of busy right now. Then accept the blessing of the God of the Forge, and you shall be granted strength to defy chaos. Enough talking. If you're gonna give me power, just do it. I've never used a sword before, but I'll give this fight my all. Uh, uh, that light! Uh, sister! seems to be working. Is that God's power really this weak? Uh, or maybe... Maybe you're just pushing yourself a little too hard. You, you sis, you're, you're all fighting, fighting with everything, everything you've got. got. Divine, Divine blessing or not, no, no one's, one's gonna, gonna fight my battles, battles for me. It doesn't, doesn't matter what weapon, weapon I've got. got. In the, In the end, end, I'm, I'm the, the one who has, has to wield it. it. Whatever happens, I have to fight. Whether you go down or not, I'm in this to the end. I've never lost to anyone in a battle of endurance. My sister? Yes. I'm sure you don't want to know. 
The swordswoman, who looked exactly like Cassandra, began to speak hesitantly of Sophitia and about a prophecy of a future dark and cruel. Sophitia's child will be born with a great darkness inside and will be abducted by the cursed sword's malfested kin to become Soul Edge's vessel. The child will become unable to live without the sword's evil, causing Sophitia to remove the fragment of the cursed sword inside her and use it to save her child. Cassandra, more than anyone, understood what this prophecy meant. Sophitia had a fragment of the cursed sword inside her, a secret Cassandra never revealed to her family, Rothian, or even Sophitia herself. There's only one fragment left inside Sis, and it's buried close to her heart. If she ever removes it, she'll... <sighs> hey, how do you know all this? Who are you? I don't know anymore. All this time, I... Sis... I see. <sighs> the God of the Forge. Hephaestus, was it? Did all of that really happen? I guess he's not answering because I got his sacred weapons all beat up. Sis left her sword and shield here. But she's still out there fighting, and she's gonna keep fighting. I don't believe everything I heard, but I'll do my best, too. <sighs> All right. If Sis is out there fighting, she must have a weapon that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the cursed sword. And I only know one blacksmith around here good enough to make a powerful weapon like that.